Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World the game and look at that he's timed it perfectly so when he goes into the game hopefully <gasps> Come on. Oh, there it is <laughs> A Little bit worried. Uh, this one was actually quite a toughie uh, because it was just only over the weekend And so that gave you what like two and a bit days. Let's say three days max and even then uh, it, it, we had to get like 1,200 cups, I think. It was either 1,200 or 1,400. It was actually quite a lot. I thought maybe 1,000 would be okay, but no. Nope. nope, nope, nope. So it's, well, oh, oh yes. Oh, all of the books. Oh, you can keep the snake. Gigantophis. I think that's what it's called. Um, I don't think this was bigger than, uh, <laughs> I was going to say an anaconda. Bigger than Titanoboa. Actually, I had, I think, top... Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's a pretty picture. Um, so we're going to hatch it. Oh, we already have a Titanobo already. So, question is... Is it better than Titanobo? Our survey says... Um, yes, actually. Uh, 300 extra health and 80... Well, 60 less attack. So for 60 less attack, you get 300 health or 250 health. Um, eh, they're actually... Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, actually, I don't know. It depends what you want. If you want more attack, then uh, it's probably going to be Titanoboa. Um, and usually, especially when you do loads of attacks, um, they, you know, the multiply kicks in and they do loads more damage. So really, Titanoboa is better. Just because 300 health, if it's attacked by one, one hit, like one attack, then yeah, it can make the difference. But most of the time, you're not attacked by one attack. So, and, and even then, if you're using it, it's probably going to be attacked by creatures that are similar strength to it. Uh, so, ooh, get your tournament on. For the month of March, there will be a new tournament every weekend. And we don't know what it's going to be. It's a box, apparently. Ooh. Um, so I'm going to close that, close that. So there we go. That's good. Been, uh, been saved. Ooh, haven't been doing that, actually. People have told me that it's actually kind of worth it. Uh, the VIP point one. Uh, if you need to get the, uh, the latest solid gold creature or something like that. If it is in that offer, chances are you are probably going to win it. And for, uh, uh, you know, and you win other stuff as well. Not only that. Instead of spending, what is it, 10,000? Uh, on a solid gold? 10,000. It used to be like 5,000, didn't it? It was something like that. He changes all the time. But anyway, ooh, I've got to get me books. Got to get you more. Look at that. We're on 23,000 books. I think we were on, what was it? It was really low last episode. Or was it the episode before? Not sure. Either way, it was just very, very low. God, look at that. Looking in the mirror. Oh, me hair. Oh, and you, that, that's you, you even, I, you can't even see my hair. And I'm looking at it. <laughs> uh, okay. So what do we have? I mean, let's, let's do, do, do this first. Um, Cenozoic, we've got to hatch this beast. Cenozoic, is it, ooh, what is it actually? Mm, let's just have a look. Let's have a look. It is a cave. Of course, it's a cave. Bloody hell. Right, okay. And at 1,600 bucks. Oh, Lord. And here we go. The latest, newest creature. Whoa. Like a piece of poop. <laughs> it looks beautiful. <laughs> Just like a piece of poo poo. Ah, oh, look at you. You kind of... So apparently this one, um, when it gets to its max level 40, looks like a viper. So it has... Or, sorry, a cobra. So, um... It has like the crest about by the back of its head and by the neck, which looks pretty cool. Uh, of course, we're gonna. I, I can't even remember what it's like to feed a Titanoboa. Um, oh, well, not a Titanoboa. They, oh, so they just took the uh, animation. Oh, well, there you have it. They just took its, its seven to eight attack animation and just made it its uh, eating animation. Um, that's interesting. Or at least this bit is. This bit 100% is. Just pretend the dodo is the camera. That That's pretty much what happens. Why would he even do that? Why would it coil so many times around a little dodo? It would just bite the dodo and it would die. <laughs> but we're not here to pick fault with that, no. And there we go. What what kind of little uh, hint? Oh, 8,000 food. Before Titanoboa was discovered, Gigantophis was considered the largest snake to ever live. Ooh, don't even know. Uh, so you get six, 68,000 for that. 100 bucks and 315,000. And another 100 bucks. 1,331,000 and 198 VIP points. Don't know if that gets doubled if you're a subs uh, VIP subscriber, whatever you call it. Um, and how are we doing for... Oh, yeah, we finished top, didn't we? Oh, look at that. Over 1,000 super after DNA. Getting close. Getting close to the Sarko Sucus, um Super Hybrid. 
Oh my god, I just did like one of those last night. They got golden rewards. Hey, micro! Microfusion, what do we win for this? Ooh, it's the mono monolophosaurus uh, super DNA, so that's good. Um, nothing too crazy, uh, except for the glacier shifts. That's going to be pretty tough. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I like how it's glacier shifts and you have to have an aquatic creature. Okay, the terror of the pterosaurs. Ooh, that seems like a super easy one. So, you know, should we do that? Yeah, we'll do that. So is it one amphibian? One amphibian. Okay, so we'll probably look for something with double the attack. So Microposaurus should be able to do it pretty easy. Because we, we probably die in three. Um, so I'm going to go for one block, two reserves. Hopefully it blocked. It did. Okay. Uh, that gives it three. Again, probably could kill me in three, but I've got one block. Oh, it did it! Oh, I don't know. It would have been pretty close. It would have been pretty close. Well, he's dead anyway. Because we kill him in, I think it's three. Two, four. Yeah, it's got. De it's definitely three. Uh, so there you go. Super quick. Like a boss. Uh, two amphibians this time. Fantastic. Well, we'll start off with a super weak one. And then get an amphibian that can kill something in two hits. So let's say it's got 668. Um, it needs to be a fairly decent one if we're doing that. Actually, you know what? Sorry. Let's do, let's do Sarkasukas at Ichthyostega. Woo! We could die in three hits for sure this time. Um, so gotta be careful. Ichthyostega, I think, has less attack than Sarkasukas. I don't know why I chose it in that order. Um, oh, we might kill me. Is it gonna do it? Oh, didn't this time. Oh, interesting. So four reserves, two block. And he always oh, got five. Oh, he's got six. One, two, three, four. He's going to have to go for five to kill me. Oh, there it is. Um, that's uh, an assured victory. There you go. The newest uh, Sarkasukas animation there. Uh, right. One, two, three. Kills it. Um, and then I'm just going to make sure. Because he's going to have four, right? And I can't die in two. So I may as well block for two. Uh, and give him three reserve. Which means that even if it blocks for three. Is it three or four? Even if it blocks for four. Uh, I've got three to kill it, and three will kill it. So it doesn't matter what the dragon does. It's pretty much deed. So go for seven. Yeah! I tell you what, I've been, I've been doing more VR stuff. Um, oh my god. Yeah, because this, this video I know will go up the day off, so it is... Tuesday today? I think it's, well, depending on where you are in the world, because it is like a whole like 12 hour ahead in certain, certain places. Um, it should be Tuesday. Um, but I've been recording that time transit game. Oh my god. I thought the first episode was bad. Ooh. <laughs> you have no idea. It gets so much worse. So bad. But it's really, I think you'd find it really entertaining. Because you're just watching my, uh, my slow descent into, um, into madness. Really. Um, and that, that's, that's always, that's always quite funny. <laughs> Well, I mean, in, in this case it is. I don't think madness is really that funny. But in, in this comedic case when I'm torturing myself, yes, yes, it, it, well, you know, that mental kind of torture, which it does eventually turn out to be. Um, first episode, I was a bit annoyed with the climbing. And, well, I'll, I'll not spoil anything. <laughs> but I've been playing, um, like I said, I've been, I play this like, Every night, just because I know that it, it, it's just tough because I have to use my highest level creatures and there's barely enough time for them to really recharge before um, I have to use them again, um, which means I have to use the exiting out glitch. And, you know, Lydia, are, they're still like putting money and time into this game because it, it's, just, it's still a super popular game because even what, like four years, four years after? Um, I, I mean, you, you see my episodes, some of them still break like 100,000 views. Like 100,000 is like a normal episode, 100,000 views. And and for anything else, like if you think of in terms of like YouTube videos, that's still, that's really good for like an app game that's niche. Like 100,000 views is phenomenal. Um, and I thank you so much for watching. <laughs> so we're going to do the fight for fusion and... Yeah, level 225, uh, Carnoraptor. Sounds about right. Um, let's use, of course, Yudon. Actually, Yudon recharges f way quicker than Pachygalosaurus, even though they're in the relatively same, like, strength category, even though Pachygalosaurus has, like, double the health. Or is it... Maybe it's not. I don't, I don't remember. Either way, it's, it's loads better. Um, 
I know that Pachygalosaurus can't come in two hits. I'm pretty sure. Because I've got, I've got double. Um, yeah, yeah, Pachygalosaurus has 4,000 extra attack. Sorry, health. But has half the attack. And, you know, this it's not level 40, so... Nah, give and take a little pinch of salt. But still, Udon is way better. Just because it's mainly attack. And remember, Udon got a nerf. Udon had way more attack. And so did Medrovidon, I think. Um, oh my god, please kill Tijongasaurus. It's only here to be a meat shield. Oh, has it got five? Five is attacking numbers. You can go for five. Oh, nope, didn't have five. Okay, okay. Um, goes for three. So he's got one block. You know, I may as well switch into you, Don, at this point. One block. Pretty good circumstances. Uh, that kills him factor in one. And then two block. Ooh, we did go for it. And I think we've survived. I think we've won. Uh, oh, God. Wow. <laughs> didn't see that attack. 4,000. Whoop! Bam! Okay, okay. So we're gonna switch to Tijongasaurus. We're gonna go for three results. Look at this! Look at this! Haven't cheated! No hands, guys! <laughs> this is gonna go for four. Oh, even three! Oh no! Well, it's got 10,000. 10,000. There should be a way to, um, le like, what, what, what can we say? Um, boost dinosaurs? Like, you know, level 40 is the max, but there should be a way for you to boost them. And I don't know how you do it, like a certain currency to boost it. To get them higher levels, you know, of course, it's it, you know, it's a lot less currency to boost something that's you know like a Conraptor as opposed to a Udon. But I still think something like that would be really uh, handy. Uh, so we're just gonna switch in the same sort of tactic. Uh, Metrophodon, yeah, Metrophodon. Let's put in Metrophodon. <laughs> the only problem is here, Metrophodon can't kill Pachycephalosaurus in two hits, um, just because they have sheer amount of health. Even though I've got five thousand attack. Um, and we, mm, we don't die in two hits. So, because I don't die in two hits, I may as well go for three reserves. Now, will it pay off? Will, there, will he go for two? Oh, he didn't. Beautiful. Right, now switch into Tijongasaurus. <laughs> right, okay, this is it. That's it. If Tijongasaurus dies, which it probably will, um, it's all up to Metrophodon. Oh, he goes for three. Of course he goes for three. Of course he goes for three. Uh, so he's got one block. Uh, so I have to go for four to kill him. Uh, to make sure he's dead. So one, two, three, he's dead. Factor in one. Now, Diploded is going to come in with four. He's going to switch out to Hatsocopteryx, who has three. Now, I'm pretty sure one hit from a Hatsocopteryx can't kill me, but two probably can. So I'm going to have to go for... Um... Ooh... Ooh, it's tricky. It's tr okay. If he, if he doesn't block, I have to exit out. Okay, he did. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Right, we're safe. We're safe. Still 2,000 attack, though. Still 2,000 attack. Freaking tater tot. Oh, I knew it. 4,000. You serious? Okay. Um. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't good. Right, good news is that... Ooh, well, it depends. It depends. We have to play this really careful um, because uh, if he doesn't block I think I'm dead hold on hold on oh I'm gonna risk it I'm gonna risk it I feel like he might have five ah no oh wait hold on hold on hold on yes oh my god the, the look yeah you're right okay I, I had pr predicted it I was like he can't kill me in two I was thinking, was it five or six? Oh, I, I can't remember yet. But yeah, I thought I had got it right. Somewhere in my head, within these, all these math equations, <laughs> the right answer was there. Uh, also, there has been an update to the code red, and it completely caught me off guard. Um, but hopefully, uh, ooh, unhappy. Uh, this, this, if I, it'll be here, so I'll show you what to do. Because it, it completely caught me off guard. Because you think, oh come on, I clicked it. Oh, you don't, you dare. So basically, you've got the touch ones, which are these. You got to hit them in order. Um, fairly simple, right? Fairly simple. Okay. Now there's a new one where you've got to track it. And it should be this one. So, you base... Okay. What? Yeah, so you see this, like, it's so vague. And they could have done a much better job of this. But what you've got to do is wait for the circle. Yeah, you see, like, you wait for the yellow to come round. You've got to wait for that yellow to hit the circle. Then start tracking it. It's, it's so weird. Uh... 
There we go. Well, there we got it. Got it in perfect. So that means we get the five uh, Monolophosaurus DNA there. And another one. Ooh, this one's for 1031. There's also a super easy easy versions of this as well. Um, where you only need to hit it like like 10 times. And they're only the number one. So the higher the DNA you win, the harder the things are. So hopefully we're going to... We should get this. Okay. Now, this should be the tracking one. So you got to wait. It makes no sense. Honestly, I clicked it and it was like, nah, failed. I don't understand what that means. Is it a tap version? Like, look at that. I can get everything else. Just, it's so vague. Uh, they really need to fix that. Uh, other uh, changes to this is that I have yet to see uh, winning Super DNA over 10. They've taken out like the, the 15 or the 25. Also, they've nerfed the amount of DNA you, you win, like actual DNA, not super DNA. It used to be like 300 if you got everything perfect, 300 to 500. Now it's like eh, 200. Um, well, there you go. I've probably done me quota. Um, okay, okay. So I've used a lot of these creatures just because um, I've been using the tournament. So should we use Interruptor? I kind of want to use Interruptor. Uh, we also, I will use the newest snake, even though it probably will be the same animations um, as the regular Titanoboa, because it was, that's just the way it goes. Why bother spending money um, doing that, making a whole new animation, uh, when you can just bring one across and it's you're pretty much not... Like, if they did that and they did pay for animators to make a new separate animation, I would praise it. And I think the, what it comes to with dinosaurs is everybody has their favorite. Everybody likes a certain dinosaur. And what annoyed, or annoyed me anyway, and obviously it, res it resonated with a lot of other people when playing these kinds of games and any games in general, is that when you give dinosaurs different behaviors and different attacks and different uh, animations, this is the overarching theme here, just different animations, um, you know, we're, we're talking everything, uh, it, it really brings that dinosaur to life. Um, and, I mean, we all know that not one species would 100... Oh, okay, yeah, well, we're just going to exit out of that just because we always just want to make sure we're not going to waste uh, Pachycallosaurus there or Indoraptor or the Mastodonosaurus. Um, even though I, I might have died, I could have easily exited out, but I just needed one extra one to put in there and I didn't do it. So we're going to do it now. Um, but it, 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 it's, it's funny that you have this theme that runs through... Uh, all of um, dinosaur games. It's animation. It's it's the way they move, the way they they look. It's 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 this. You you don't have it. You don't have something as similar run through all the other dinosaur games, uh, like the play, the gameplay, or this thing. Like I I love the way the dinosaurs move in Turok. Like the recent, well, I say recent is you know the 360 Turok game, a PS3 Turok game. I really like the way the dinosaurs moved in that, the raptors, the way they scramble around and stuff. Um, I don't even know where I was going with that. It, it was, yeah, the, that's right, why, why they haven't done this. It's a shame because it would be like, oh, I like this snake because it, it, it's attacks like that. That's way better. Um, you know, it's imagine if all the Power Rangers attacked all the same. I mean, they, they probably did all that in the video games, but you know, in like the TV series, they all acted the same. It doesn't work. I mean, technically, they, they look similar because their suits are very similar, and, but they have different colors. And that's kind of what you have with the Titan Boa and Gastrophis or whatever it is. You have this. They look the same, but they also act the same. You know, just a little bit different. It might be nice, but I can also understand from, you know, a money standpoint. It's good that they're keeping the content going for this game, but at the same time, I would like a little bit extra. Um, <laughs> it's been like that from the start, though. I've got to be honest. <laughs> but I've been... Chirping the same tune since day one. Um, but how about we do this now? We do PvP. Uh, Sunazoric versus land. Golden rewards? What? Have they... I mean, that's the top prize, isn't it? It's, it's not really going to be it. So Cenozoic. Here we go. So I can't have a complete snake team. Um, thing is, you're not even going to really notice the difference, are you? Uh, I mean, what I should do... Is put an Amphicoon, put in uh, Titanoboa, 
And then Gastonus. Sorry, Giga Gigantophus. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, we should have dinosaurs or creatures that have about 400, 500 attack, or 900, you know, whatever, just, just whatever. <laughs> and look, it's rage, except it's not our rage, so we can't put anything. I keep forgetting to do that, actually. Oh my god, all the characters. Guys, don't want to build up too much hype. Something's coming. Something's coming. We're talking bespoke. Merchandise. You thought Toast Plushie was good. You ain't seen nothing yet, son. <laughs> no, but really, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I don't want to... Well, I mean, we're just in talks at the moment. Um, but I just want to say... If, if the ideas are can be executed, it's going to be so friggin' good. I cannot wait for it. And there's a level 30 Stego? What? Might as well just kill this thing. Is it one? Oh, it didn't even go for the one block. Oh. And Stegosaurus, level 30. <laughs> Bless it. Oh, go on. Even with eight attack, you'd struggle to finish finish the uh, Titana bow off. Oh, just a wah, slap. Okay. Well, we're going to go for four reserves at one block. And then we'll bring in um, Gigantophis. Gigantophis, I think it is. Okay, Gigantophis. <laughs> oh. Oh, minor damage. What a shame. Okay, let's bring it in. The bad boy. Gigantophis. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at it. Now, when it's a level 40, it looks so much better. Um, actually, we'll have a look at its level 40. I didn't check at it because you can see it's like black silhouette. Uh, so let's go for seven. It's like 5,000 damage. A block for one. But here you go. I mean, it says that it was smaller than Titanoboa. I mean, we, we don't look at this game for accurate uh, representations, do we? For size, scale, and color, or anything, really. They're all the Jurassic franchise. So there you go. Ooh, it looks, it looks kind of beetly, actually. Elite prize. Okay, come on. Golden rewards. Golden rewards. Golden... Re yes! No! Going away! Oh, we're quite long. Fantastic. Uh, better than nothing, but... Oh! <gasps> Ooh, I could spin for an advert, but you know, I'm not going to because we have a code red. 10, 31. Okay, let's see if I can execute the tracking thing for Metrophodon. We don't want to lose this guy. He's, oh, we're down here already. There we go. Okay. Execute perfectly. Right, next one. Oh, what's this one? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Yep, yeah, that's 30 DNA. Yes, keep going. Let's get four, like 60. Is it 60 next? There, and the next one. Yes! Perfect, yes! I, like, that's the thing. I didn't even wait for the circle to get to its smallest thing, which is the, the, the craziest thing. Oh, six. So it's adding 15 every time. Okay, ready, guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes! Oh, right now. Oh, look at the DNA! Okay, about... Oh, that's the best you can get, I think. Okay, I did say you couldn't get to, like, 400, 500 like you used to. But you can almost get to 400. Boom! Perfect! That was pretty good. Okay, are we close to getting anything? Like, what do we need? We need more super... Oh, 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 there you go. 14 extra. Completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh, okay, so they've changed it. So instead of the, you getting less Sarkasuchus DNA than the Indoraptor, it's the same. So that's another fix. Thank you, Ludia, for fixing that. Um, but I think that's going to wrap up this episode. Let's just collect... 28 million coin. Um, ooh, should, should we get that? Ooh. <laughs> no, that's my prize gem. You can be the... You could hack the game. You can do anything to the game. You can hack it. But if you've already excavated every area, can't get that. Can't get that. No, no matter of hacking can get you that unless you restart the game and do it. But then... It's just like, wow, you did that? That's pretty sad. This is a this is a tribute. Look at it. A vast bit of forest in the middle. Gorgeous. <laughs> I can't remember why I needed to excavate. It was probably a mission, if I've got to be honest. I would have I would have done less, I think. If you if you're a new player, four years after playing the game, you're just starting. This is your first video. Don't excavate all the areas because they're, they're worth more than their weight in books and gold because you can't get them back. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,